dear fellow conservatives, dear friends, queridos hermanos mexicanos. Mi español no es muy bien, ¿no? discúlpame. Uh, hablaré en inglés. It's an immense honor for me to be here today in the same stage as important leaders of the international conservative movement. I am deeply grateful for this opportunity to represent Romania at an event of such importance for our shared values. Special thanks to your leader, Eduardo Verasategui. Great leader. You are happy to have him. Viva Mexico. Eviva Romania. And special thanks also to Dr. Friends of ours, Alejandro Diaz Villa, Villa Lobos, real, they are Eduardo and Dr. Diaz, real freedom fighters and friends. Un calido saludo del pueblo romano. I come from a former communist country. I was born and grew up for several years in communism. 23 million Romanians were prisoners in their own country. We were not entitled to have a passport. We did not have the basic right of free movement. We lived un under the empire of fear, censorship, and self-censorship. The rules, the fences, the limitation of fundamental rights were clear. We knew that what it said, it was said at home, cannot be repeated at school, at work, or in public. Back then, the Western world represented the free world to us. And it is very strange for my generation to admit that uh, a new form of Marxism and uh, Leninism and dictatorship comes to us precisely from the countries that were once considered free. So I am glad today to be with people like you who have already opposed these attacks in Mexico, in the United States, in Ecuador, in Peru, in Colombia. Congratulations, you have my support. I congratulate you for your courage and determination you have shown and still do. Todos juntos tenemos luchar por la libertad de nuestros países. It's hard for me in Spanish. So in Romania, after we were forced during communism to express ourselves in a repressive language, today we are forced to learn the new repressive language of neo-Marxism and to accept at the same time, in addition to diabolical terminology, rules, obligations, limitation of our freedom. In the novel of uh, George Orwell, 1984, the special language was called New Speak. In uh, today's dictatorship and in today's world, it is called political correctness. Today, the majority of the population bows its head and obeys without hesitation any orders or decisions. Few are the ones who revolt and oppose, and even fewer are willing to sacrifice for an idea and for an ideal. We, conservatives, are the ones who revolt against those who want to trample on our rights, our freedoms, our values. And we feel like living in another novel of George Orwell, I Animal Farm, Granja de los Animales, where the leaders are the leftist pigs and not the lions like they should be. So I say, si a los leones y a, lo, a la biología, no a los cerdos y a la ideología de género.
Thank you. Gracias. Muchas gracias. The year 2024 is not an ordinary election year for many countries of the world. It's the year of change, the year in which conservative political forces have the chance to stop the momentum of the abnormal policies promoted by the leftist and socialist parties. We live in a world where abnormality is elevated to the rank of international politics, where the fundamental values of our society under, are under attack from all directions. In the face of these challenges, we must be united and fight for normality, for life as we know it, and uh, for life as we want to keep it. In the United States, Donald Trump is fighting a crucial battle, one that we know he will win, thereby influencing world politics for the better. He will correct, hopefully, the errors of the past years and bring hope again to those who believe in freedom, in nation, and in God. Dios, patria, familia, e libertad. His victory will be also the victory of those who believe that we can reach peace in Ukraine. I hope we can reach peace in Ukraine because us Romanians, we are the, at the border of this war. In Romania, we are at similar turning points. This year, we have elections for parliament and for president. I will be in the second round of the presidential elections, most probably uh, to face the socialist candidate. En frente de ustedes es el futuro presidente de Romania. Se necesita un cambio también en México, para México. I'm sitting in front of you today, as uh, I said also in Romania, I say clearly and bluntly, we need an alliance of conservative and sovereignist forces everywhere. It's time to join our hands and defend our traditional values, fundamental freedoms, life, family, and our faith in God. In the face of political attack from the left and neo-Marxist, we must be strong. We are the only ones who can defend what is most precious for us, God, nation, family, and freedom. Nosotros los luchadores por la libertad. We must unite. We in Romania were accused of being extremists and of being radicals. Why? Because we fought for the rights and freedoms of Romanians, for the right to choose freely, because we opposed the forced vaccination of citizens with an unknown vaccine. But time proved us right. Today, our, my party, is the second political force in Romania, and this is no accident. Dear colleagues, we are not alone in this battle. We are part of a global movement of conservative and sovereignists who believe in a world where, we, where our values are not negotiable. We have a duty to protect what we hold dear, to fight for normality in a world that tries to impose abnormality to us. We have the obligation to undertake a double effort that of straightening our own identity and that of defense against internal and external destructive forces. We have the duty to speak the truth and act accordingly to rediscover and impose the good, to promote the beautiful which resides in our specificity. specificity. The future of our nations is played out by us conservatives around the world. A politician who betrays his people for the sake of some privileges is a puppet of whom nothing but a pitiful memory will remain. Instead, a politician who sacrifices himself for the good of the country will be an effigy whose peers will keep a vivid memory. 
So I propose to you, let's be fighters, not puppets. Let's build that world of sovereign and free states that we dream of. Let's save our countries. Lucheremos per nuestro futuro. El futuro de nuestros hijos. Per el futuro de nuestros países. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your immense support and friendship. Together we can win the battle and secure a better future for all who believe in freedom. May God bless us all and give the strength to fight for a world the way we want it. Que Dios bendiga a nuestros países. Gracias, muchos.